Hey everyone and welcome to this week's tutorial. Today we are going to be working with a collection called School Rules from Ethel Park. We're also going to be adding on the 12 by 12 cardstock coordinating solids paper pack and then some die cuts as well. So we are going to be making four single page layouts today. So we're going to need um, four sheets of cardstock and we're going to go with um, two of the like yellow uh, green paper and then one of the blue papers and then also one of the um, red papers as well. Okay, so this 12 by 12 collection kit includes the 12 by 12 sticker sheet along with 12 pattern papers and they're all different in this paper pack and each side of it is different as well. So here I'm just kind of going through all the papers and flipping over the side that I like best. And to start things off, we're going to go ahead and remove all of the journaling cards. So um, there was three, three of them. And it's too bad because the back side of the one of these journaling cards I actually really liked because it's just it just looks like a lined paper. Um, <clears throat> but it ended up working out that I cut up that um, journaling card anyways because in future I'm going to save the back sides of those and they will just make great journaling cards because they're cut into a 3x4 size anyways. Um, so here I'm just going ahead and picking some more subtle backgrounds and um, for my base pages and then some busier patterns for my accent papers. So. For my accent paper, I picked this one black based um, font paper and then sort of like that uh, wood background with a bunch of images on top. And then for my background pages, I picked more subtle things. I tried to incorporate two of like that sort of wood color and then that green and other lined paper. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we'll get started with our cutting guide. So now what we're going to do is take all pieces of our cardstock and we are going to be cutting one inch in from the side, one inch from the top and one inch from the bottom and cutting a straight line on all four sides. So what we are basically doing is cutting out a 10 by 10 inch square out of the center of this 12 by 12 cardstock. Our one inch border is going to be put into our piles so there should be uh, four or six piles and then our 10 by 10 inch square that we just cut out is going to be put to the side and we're going to be cutting them uh, with another cutting diagram uh, once we're done cutting out all these pieces of cardstock. When your paper goes through the cutter in the same direction that it would be on your layout, that's the side that you want to cut 0.25 inches off on. So when your page is sideways through the cutter, you actually want to cut 0.5 inches off on that side.
Okay, so we're going to start off with our first layout here and I know that it seems sort of redundant to rotate this particular layout 90 degrees because all of the pictures that are on the original version in the cutting guide are all square so they're all 3x3 three three and 4x4 four four. Um, but this time I rotated the page 90 degrees and I included a 3x5 photo in place of two 3x3 three three photo areas. Now, the reason why I rotate it 90 degrees is because my accent paper that has the font on it, that black paper with the font, um, it was a directional paper this time, so I didn't want the writing to be sideways on the page, but I needed to cut it this way to make it that font work in the direction I needed it on my other layouts. Um, so. I, I improvised this and rotated this page 90 degrees and it really didn't make a difference and it changed the look of the layout a little bit too. So each of my pages I kind of want it to be a different theme. So this one I want to kind of showcase a teacher. Um, so I used apples as my accent just to give a pop of red on the page and then um, I picked some die cuts that were teacher related. So I popped up this set word that says number or this die cut that says number one teacher and put a journaling card behind it that says it takes a big heart to shape little minds and then when we were working on our other layout here um, I kept the orientation of this page the same and just I just decided that I wanted to um, use a, um, that 3 by 4 journaling card that says if you can imagine it you can achieve it and I wanted this layout to be kind of a back to school um, layout so I have three kids I thought it would work because there's three pictures on it or three picture spots on it and um, this won't be the only back to school layout I have but it's definitely gonna work um, to incorporate that um, that theme for one of the years that I'm gonna be working on um, so I used this tight die cut that says uh, first day of school and I popped it up just beside that 3x3 three three photo area and I love that it's that green color because then it stands out um, you, it contrasts like pretty much everything on the page and, um, and then I use those two little images like of the, the owl and the uh, other little critter at the bottom um, just to help flank that 3x4 three three, four, four, uh, journaling area journaling card area Okay, so for our next layout here, we're going to be, I want to just, I want to use the titling up there that says study, and I kind of just want to use this layout um, with some pictures I have of my kids doing their homework and stuff, so this isn't necessarily at school, but it'll be like them with their books open and um, just kind of having a study session, so um I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that 3x4 photo area on the bottom or if I'm going to turn that into another journaling area um, a little bit after, um, but I made sure not to put any embellishments on top of it because I might just take it out completely and if I just flank any embellishments around that 3x4 photo area it might look silly later if I remove it. So I kind of focus a little bit more of my attention with my embellishments to the top of that 4x6 photo around that journaling card that says notes on it. Okay, so for our last page here, um, I always like to use embellishments in the bottom left corner of this layout just because it's sort of like the empty area. And at this side, I decided this this time I decided to use a 4x6 journaling card, which 
um, it's almost oversized for that area, but um, I felt like with the black background um, and then pulling some of that black background behind that 4x6 photo area, it kind of worked out okay. And I could put some embellishments kind of layered really deeply on top of this 4x6 journaling area or journaling card area. So it was going to make it work. And it kind of filled up the area and it, I just didn't have to put a lot of other things on it. And I love that saying. I think it's so important. Um, your attitude determines your direction. It's perfect. And then I used that school um, banner. And then that little owl that says is cool so school is cool and then <clears throat> just finished it off with popping up some of their embellishments so i really loved this um these layouts this week i feel like there is a different theme to all of my pages it wasn't strictly a back to school paper pack so that was really nice and the back side of my three by four journaling cards um ended up being this lined paper and i'm gonna keep this and we will use it on other layouts. Um, it's very generic and easy to use, so um, I'm gonna repurpose it. So thank you so much for watching this week, and we will see you with another video in a couple weeks. Have a great weekend, everyone.